The third presenter is Professor, Professor Margarida Romero. Professor Margarida Romero is the research director of Laboratoire d'Innovation et pour l'Education, a research lab in the field of technology enhanced learning. A digital education specialist, she also leads a research project with INERIA, artificial intelligence devoted to education. Full professor at University Côte d'Azur and associate professor at University Laval, she did her thesis in Barcelona and her research is oriented towards the inclusive, humanistic and creative uses of technologies for the development of creativity, problem solving, collaboration and computational thinking. She has an international perspective on issues of education through and with digital technology, including teacher training issues. Professor Romero has been conferred several awards in research, management, virtual learning, extraordinary thesis, artificial intelligence and transfer of technology. I will leave the floor to Professor Margarida Romero now for her presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much for the organization of this uh, webinar and uh, I'm really happy to know about the initiatives worldwide and uh, I'm happy to introduce you uh, what um, in, uh, in France in the specific context of uh, Université Côte d'Azur, uh, uh, we have also faced uh, uh, in, um, in terms of uh, one of the master programs. Then I will share my screen. Um, then, um, uh, well, uh, the good news is that uh, despite, um, uh, despite the, all the, the challenges that has been uh, arriving in schools, and, uh, and we have observed uh, very creative uh, teachers uh, facing different uh, solutions. Uh, I will focus on good news is that uh, uh, from our side on the on the um, on the on one of the blended learning programs in the university um, We have observed that the model of high flexibility that we um, Designed for this program has been very resilient in uh, in the context of this um, of, uh, of this pandemic then I, I want to introduce you first uh, what has been the, the problems on distance learning uh, initially um, and then how we designed this program and uh, what happens when the pandemic uh, arrives uh, into this context. Then uh, um, I, uh, I'm Margarita Romero, I'm one of the co-directing co this program with Thierry Lieville, who is a, a colleague in the digital science. I'm a researcher on the learning science and uh, the program is uh, an international one which address uh, technology and hands learning. Then first, uh, we will talk about difference between distance learning versus uh, Zoom-based lecturing. Yeah? Then uh, I suppose some of you have experienced some Zoom-based lecturing during the process. Um, one question that uh, we, we uh, tried to answer from a research perspective uh, some years ago, that are our online learners frustrated with collaborative learning experience <laughs> and what we can do about. Uh, I will introduce you the, the, the guiding principles of the, the Smarter Tech program and how uh, the program has been impacted by uh, the courses. Then probably some of you uh, know about this image that is uh, a shared memory we have uh, all of us and this is part of what we, are, we have experienced uh, during this uh, time. Uh, that means that there uh, has been a crisis, a disruptive <coughs> crisis, and in face of this crisis, um, um, the solution that has been uh, proposed for transitioning what happens on the, the classroom or uh, in the university context into uh, distance uh, or hybrid contact has been quite um, a, um, a rapid movement into which the process of uh, transforming uh, the learning activities, transforming uh, the way we organize the, 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 the construction of knowledge uh, uh, within the, the process has not been developed with the time and resources that are required for doing that. Then this transition has been extremely uh, rapid and has not uh, been able to be supported in the way that has appeared then. 
despite this very good news from the side of, uh, of, uh, the, uh, of the, um, the, the appropriation and the good, uh, on the acceptance of digital technologies, what we have experienced in terms of uh, pedagogy in, uh, in this period is not always what is the, 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 what is the best practices or the best process in this, uh, in this context. Then one of first uh, reflection could be, oh, uh, just moving from uh, lecturing to uh, doing uh, online work uh, could be a solution. Uh, this was the, our reflection some years ago. Eight years ago, so we were on the, the uh, on, um, uh, Universitat Oberta de Catalunya, that is the open university in Catalonia. And then uh, it was like thinking, oh, maybe just uh, considering um, collaborative learning could be uh, in, uh, an interesting opportunity for solving these challenges of designing uh, blended and online learning uh, context. However, what happened is that uh, part of the students were really frustrated about these experiences, especially when developed online. And what we found is that uh, there was communication difficulties, there was an imbalance on the commitment of the different students and uh, students more committed uh, to this work was not happy about the commitment of the other. And this is uh, uh, later that has been a lot of works uh, being developed on, um, on collaborative online learning and there's a transactive cost that is an important one. Then uh, this made us to, uh, to, uh, to move into a, um, uh, into a design of a program that is, uh, can be considered as high flexibility. What means by high flexibility? That means that the students all, uh, have often the choice of the modalities. Uh, in some courses, they have the choice to develop the assignments individually or to work on diets or to work in um, uh, small groups or they have the possibility to complete the course in a more intensive way or have the time for doing in a longer way. This way, we, we got the possibility to engage the students in a way that was the, the, the most appropriate one. When we are talking about students, you can see in this map who are our students in the SS Smart Tech program. And it has been extremely interesting to know about their experiences uh, on, um, on this uh, pandemic situation because different countries have uh, faced it in, a, in different ways. And uh, the community was also a way also to exchange about the experience in, the, in, this, uh, in this period. These students are not coming all to France while during the, 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 the whole master. Uh, the, the neither the, the, the pedagogical team, uh, because the pedagogical team is also uh, quite uh, international, and some of them are in Mexico and others are in Belgium, and then we are having really um, a very distributed team. The only persons who are really in Nice uh, all the time is, uh, uh, is uh, Thierry, the co-director, me, the co-director, and uh, saint Claire Lefebvre, our, our pedagogical coordinator. Then this high flexibility model is about uh, uh, doing the whole program as online learning experience with one weekly um, meeting with the students and having two intensive weeks. Then this modality in which online learning is offering choices uh, for the students and at the same time we are meeting because we are mammals and we need to, uh, to, to perceive each other at a certain moment to, uh, to, uh, to develop trust. Uh, it has been really uh, um, 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 a type of model that has been uh, successful before the pandemic. Okay. What happens during the pandemic? Uh, it has not been quite complicated because the only thing that, that was that we had um, the second um, um, intensive week of the year on April, then what we did is doing an online intensive week. Uh, more amazingly, it was, okay, mm, this online intensive week, we can transform it in a way to make, um, to, um, to model the way um, uh, we can uh, teach online, okay? Then uh, the, one of the activities, for example, we, uh, we did with uh, colleagues uh, from New York and, uh, and, um, and uh, Canada was to uh, play Groove Pizza, that is a, a co-creation musical tool, uh, in order to see how we can create together through online experiences. Then this online intensive week has been transforming some of the activities, thinking 
what we can do online, but focusing very specifically on what we can do for engaging uh, in certain periods of time on co-creativity process. The other aspect is that uh, uh, it's not uh, very um, um, uh, human, uh, uh, human adapted to be online too many hours a day. Then, uh, uh, despite intensive weeks, when happening in Nice are happening all the week, and this is intensive week, and we are sharing plenty, uh, plenty of moments together. Uh, uh, for the online intensive week, it has been concentrated in periods of two hours in order to make sure that this is not um, uh, too um, uh, intensive uh, from uh, the point of view of detention. But there has been aspects that were done asynchronously by the, the students, but also um, uh, an, uh, an approach that it was also, we want our uh, smart, tech, uh, tech, uh, smart tech students to be creative, then we invite them to, uh, to uh, do a process of, of co-design to analyze the challenges uh, of uh, higher education uh, with one of our experts in the program, Irina Yastrebova. Then the students were engaging also in reflecting how we should uh, 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 adapt the program, but also how they, they consider uh, in their own programs and their own uh, uh, teaching, how to, to adapt this teaching. Then it was like sharing the responsibility of the process of, um, of uh, re redefining um, the, the, um, uh, the, the way we learn and teach online in this period. Uh, the other amazing thing is that uh, there has been a lot of initiatives, then I will just share uh, this from Esrunika, then uh, a French teacher in India. Uh, and Esrunika, uh, she has been amazed because uh, during this period, she has even um, had the opportunity to have even more webinars and even more resources than those that were previously uh, available on the, on the field of uh, of transforming, um, transforming, uh, addressing these uh, digital transformation challenges. Then what she did is not just uh, uh, enjoying and herself uh, the, these different aspects, but it has been uh, also a very proactive, uh, a real agency of the students on our program in which they uh, shared initiatives, proposed things. And uh, we, we, are, uh, we were really glad to see that um, uh, the, uh, our community, uh, this international cohort, has succeeded to, to develop what we, is our main goal in this program, that is uh, develop a co-creativity approach uh, to problems uh, in education and a way that is not just uh, keeping on the criticism, but uh, taking agency, uh, joining other persons and, uh, and trying to, uh, to develop uh, solutions uh, for the current uh, situation. Then uh, not all of things are just uh, like uh, pink, then it has been a lot of challenges in terms of the internships because most of the internships were face-to-face. -face. But uh, I will say that this high flexibility model uh, is uh, one that uh, it has been um, quite resilient in the co current context. Then thank you very much to everyone. Thank you, Professor Romero, for the nice presentation. You've given a brief on how the distance learning versus Zoom-based learning, and a, an elaborated presentation on the MSc Smart Tech uh, with experiences from students worldwide. And also you talk about Smart Tech smart ed tech coordination and pedagogical team, which I think is essential for the, the online course to work nicely, effectively. And a good news is that MIE is also getting onto the network of smart ed tech soon. So we, are, we found it very enriching and we are thinking about going on the smart ed tech course very soon. 